اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الحمد للہ رب العالمین و صلی اللہ علی سیدنا و نبینا محمد و آلہ الطاہرین سلام علیکم جمیعا و رحمت اللہ و برکاتہ خوب لیکن سی اونلی سیون پارٹیسپنٹس آر دیر خوب ون اس بیٹنگ ان دکھوں خوب اینی ون اف یو گن انفارم می If you can hear my voice. Waalaikum salam. Okay. Yes, we can hear you. Okay, thank you. Khub, uh, tonight we are going to start, inshallah, chapter number 28. It's regarding transgression and disobedience. Khub, let's start with the vocabulary. The first word is buyut. Buyut is bait. Bait means houses. Uh, buyut is houses, bait is a singular, buyut is houses, and abiyat is again a plural of bait, buyut, abiyat. Khub. Raghib is fahani, raghib means raghib is fahani, in al-mufradat al-Quran says that bait is a place where man takes shelter for the night. He stays there and is and he spends his night time over there, that particular place is called Bait. But later on, this word was used for a house as well. And there is a verb from this Bait is Bata Yabito. Yabito Yabituna. Yabito Yabitane Yabituna is the serial number three. Yabituna, if you see the translation, spend the night. وَالَّذِينَ يَبِيتُونَ لِرَبِّهِمْ سُجَّدًا وَقِيَامًا Surah Al-Furqan, verse number 64. Those who spend the night for their Lord, prostrating and standing in worship. So, يَبِيتُونَ So, the root word is bait. A place where a person takes shelter for the night. To spend the night is called بَاطَى and the place a person spends night is called Mabit as well. That particular place is called Mabit. And I have shown this picture because whenever you're walking from Najaf to Karbala, so you remember this place and there are Mokib and we spend night over there and they are shouting Mabit, Mabit. So Mabit is a place to spend night. Okay, let's go ahead. Next word is Hatta. Hatta is till or until. Now there is a discussion here. What is the actual meaning of Hatta? Now we have Hatta Atifa and we have Hatta Jara. So I'll not go in detail. Inshallah, if I'll get some time later on, I'll go more in detail what this is the mid there are three types of hatta we have in Arabic. So the translation is till or until hatta. Hatta matla il farj until fajr until the dawn. Okay. Uh, in Surah Qadr, we see this uh, word hatta. Haram is sacred or prohibited. So the thing which is prohibited is called haram. The opposite of haram is halal. Rajul. Rajul is man. Rajul is man. The root word is Ra Jim Lam. Now, this particular root word has three different. If you should just change the Fatha Kasra, Zamma, so it can have different meanings. For example, Rajul, Rajul is man. The plural is Rajal. Hob Rajal. If it is rigid, rigid is leg, but the plural is arjul. If it is rajil, rajil means pedestrian. Again, the plural will be the same, like men is rijal. Arrijal uqawwamun ala nisa. That the rijal, that the men has, have authority over women. And in what sense the Quran says, I don't want to go in discussion. It's not like that. I have authority on my wife. No, the, there is something else which Quran is discussing in that particular verse. 
فالرجال قضمون على النساء خب الرجل رجل ان راجل so the root word is راجيم لام خب رجل is man خب next word is شديد شديد is severe severe or strong as well the شديد word شديد فاسق okay, what is the meaning of فاسق transgressor in English we do the translation as transgressor I'll go, inshallah, uh, regarding what is the uh, linguistic meaning, uh, the real meaning of Fasik. Inshallah, I'll discuss. Let me discuss the word Qiyam. Qiyam is from uh, the word Qavama. Uh, Qavama to stand. And the Qiyam, the meaning of Qiyam is standing as well. But sometimes it is used for firmness and stabilization. The thing which is stand in the, it's standing in position. In a standing position, so the thing which stands, so metaphorically it is used for firmness or stabilization of something. Now let's come to Fasik. Okay, can any one of you explain what is the meaning of Fasik? The linguistic meaning Fisk. What is the meaning of it? Is it something like when you say this this person is fasic, like somebody who does things openly? Okay, okay. So the person, so the difference between fasc and fajir, you can say the fasic is a person who commits a sin openly, and the fajir is not like this. Okay. Okay. Let me uh, discuss with you what is the meaning of actually the fasic is. The word fisk literally means to separate, to separate. Like Arabs for this rutba, for date, they say fasakatir rutbatu an qishriha. The date got separated from its outer shell. Can you see the outer shell? So the date is separated. So when the date comes out of its outer shell, it is called Fasaka is to separate. Similarly, it also means to abandon or to withdraw. Like Arab says, Fasaka Rukab or Rukab is a rider, Rakib, a rider. Rukab, Fasaka Rukab and Qasdit Tariq. The rider withdrew or abandoned his intended path. So, in Islamic Sharia, it is used for abandoning, withdrawing, or to separate or crossing because the date comes out of the outer shell. A fasik is a person who comes out from the boundaries of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He's the one who crosses the boundaries of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That is, he is doing disobedience. So to separate, to abandon, or to withdraw, all these ma'ana are there in fisk. And it was interesting, I was going through with the dictionaries, that this word in jahiliya, it was used for rutuba only, for date, fasakatu rutuba. Fasik word for human was never ever used in Arabic before Islam. Quran came and used this word fisk for insan. The same you uh, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala kept the same meaning of separation and abandoning the path. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala used this word for a person who is disobedient. So the word fasik. So in English we do transgressor. The transgressor has the same meaning actually, disobedience actually, crossing the boundaries of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Khub. Now it's a different discussion that what is the difference between Isyan and Fisk and Fujur. Okay, Sister Azra Sharif has mentioned that Fasik is a person actually who does or commits sin openly. Khub Ka'aba. Ka'aba is, is Khan Ka'aba. Al Ka'abatullah Khub is Khan Ka'aba. But Kaaba, the root word is Kaab. Kaab in Arabic, the junction of foot and ankle. 
if you can see here, the junction of foot and ankle, this place where your uh, foot joins with the ankle is called Kaab. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Holy Quran, Do masah of your head and your feet up to your two junctions of your feet and ankles. Up to here, you have to do. Now, in uh, among the ulamas, uh, here is here is a dispute. Actually, what is actual kab? Now, I, according to Ayatollah Sisani, as we said, that this position is called kab. So, when you have to do masa, so you will start from here and end till here, end up to here. But according to some of the ulamas, they say no, kab is not like this. Kaab is not this position. Kaab is this position. The upper part. That's it. So according to these ulamas, the vajib part of masa is starting from one of the fingers or from the toe up to the upper part of your foot. That's it. Up to here. There is no need to go up to the ankle part. Okay. Kaaba. So one word is kaab, the junction of foot and ankle. Kaaba is a high and square, high and square place. Uh, in Arabic, mukab is called uh, a cube. So Kaaba is a thing which is cubical, and the Khane Kaaba is called Kaaba because Khane Kaaba is in a cubical shape. Then afterwards, Khane Kaaba has become a proper noun. Al Kaaba has become particular to the house of Kaaba. So Kaaba, anything which is in a cubical shape. Hope, let's go ahead. Malaika, Malaika is uh, the plural of Malak, angels. Nisa, Nisa is women. What is the singular of Nisa? Shall I try? <clears throat> yes. Mar'a. <laughs> Mar'a, Imra'a. No. The word itself, Nisa, doesn't have a singular word from its own root word. Nisa is isme jama. Isme jam, yani the word which is used only for plural. So, an niswa or an nisa or an niswan are all plurals of the word al mar'a. Al Mar'a, or you can say Imra'a. Al Mar'a or Imra'a. Actually, these are not the plural of Imra'a. Al Mar'a. Now, which means one woman, and Nisa, which means more than one woman. This word only exists in plural form as Nisa, Niswa, or Niswan. And their, and their used singular form does not come from the same literal root word. So Niswa, Nisa, Niswan, see the root word is not the same of Mara. Mara has a different root word. And so these three words are not the singular of Mara. In Arabic, we say Ismejam. Ismejam, and there are some words which are used as plural and they don't have singular word of it. For example, Qom. In Arabic, we say Qom, nation. Qom doesn't have singular. It's, it is used only for all. For example, Jaish. Jaish is army. Jaisha Usama. Jaish is army. So it doesn't have singular. So there are some words. Maybe do we have some words like in, in English? Can anyone help? So they are used only for plural. I don't know. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Water, tell me. They are uncountable. Water, sand, sugar. No, wa salt. water. Water is not used as singular or plural. Oh, singular and plural. I thought yeah. uh, uncountable. No, no, no. Uh, do we have some words which are only used as plural? They don't have singular word for that. So this was my question. Okay, let's go ahead. Anam. Anam are kettles. Okay, 
or you can say livestock as well. An arm. Bari on bari is um, absorbed. Yeah. Uh, Sheikh, I I have an example of uh, a word or noun that does not have a plural. It's like, like fish. Fish fish is just said as fish, not fishes in the vocabulary. No, also, no, it's a different she, thing. Now it, it's a different thing that a word which is used for singular and plural. Nisa yeah, is so used only for plural. No, Nisa is only used yeah. for plural, not yeah, for so singular. That way, in English, fish is only pronounced as fish in singular and plural. But it's, it is used for singular, but Nisa is not used for singular. Oh, Can I try, okay. Chef? Can I try, yeah. Chef? Yeah. Person and people. Okay. So person is used for one person and people does not have any singular. Oh, really? I don't know. I'm trying. Okay. What What about others? Do we agree? Uh, my English is not good. So others can help. Assalamualaikum. Wa Alaikum wa Maybe pupils. Peoples. Do we have peoples? No, pu pupil. How huh, okay? Shagird, student. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Um. Also, sheep. Sheep does not have a Plural, nor it's just one word, sheep, used for both. It's a different thing, sister. Nisa is a word which is used for plural, not used for singular. It doesn't have singular. Do we have words like this? In so same language? with sheep. Sheep does not have a singular either. But sheep is used for singular. It, there's no plural for it. It's, it's pronounced no, as sheep. No, no, you it, can't say sheep. No, no, you're not getting me. I'm not discussing about a word which is used okay. for singular and plural both. Nisa is a word oh, which is used okay. for plural only and it does not have singular. Okay. It's a different word. Okay, let's go ahead. Bari, bari is always used with the particle min. Bari on min. Absolved. Bari is absolved. Or free, then in bracket of responsibility. Okay, let's go ahead. Jalud, jalud. The meaning is the skins. The singular is jild. There is a verse from Surah Nisa, verse number fifty-six. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says, "In the Lavina kafaru, that certainly those who disbelieve be ayatina, those who disbelieve in our signs, saufa nuslihim nara, will will soon burn burn them in a fire." You can see that every time when their skins are roasted, will change their skins. And these skins will be other than the previous one. So that they may taste the punishment. So uh, we say in Urdu, that death has died. Now, so these people will taste the punishment. Inna Allah ka'ana azizan hakeema. So jalood is jil. Hakimin is judges. The plural of hakim. Khasara. Khasara is loss. We did uh, word khusran khub before as well. Khasara is loss. Okay. Khasara, the word can be used for materialistic loss or a spiritual loss. Okay. Qalat. In chapter number five, we did that. Qala. Qala is he said. So Qalat is Siga number four. Qala, Qala, Qalu, Qalat. She said. Yakfuru. Yakfuruna, we did that in chapter number 20. Yakfuru is Siga number one. Yakfuruna, they disbelieved. Okay. Uh, and Yakfuru is he. Uh, they, they disbelieve they disbelieve okay yakfuru yakfuru yakfuruna yakfuru is a, he denies is not is not correct actually yakfuru uh, denies is not correct it should be he disbelieves or he defies can be correct as well or he becomes unbeliever oh. ansa ansa is from nisyan 
to forget. Ansa is sira number one. It's a past tense. Ansa yunsi in sa'a. Ansa. He made them forget. Okay, he made, okay, put them, them in bracket. Okay, it should be ansa hum. So hum should be, so them should be in bracket because uh, them is not there in ansa. So ansa hum will be, he made them forget. Please put them in, in bracket. Ta'amaluna. The sigha number one was ya'amalu. He does. Ta'amaluna is sigha number nine. Ya'amalu, ya'amalane, ya'amaluna. Ta'amalu, ta'amalane, ya'amalna. Ta'amalu, ta'amalane, ta'amaluna. So you all do or you all perform. Tawakkal. Tawakkal is imperative. It's an order. Tawakkal ala Allah. That you put your trust on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Tawakkal ala Allah. Tawakkal ala Allah. Asa wa asa is sigha number three past tense. Asa, asaya, asa. They disobeyed. It's from isyan. La takunu. Again, it's an imp imperative. It's an order. It's nahi. It's nahi. Ki ye kaam ko anjaam na do. Don't do this thing. La takunu. You all do not be. La takunu. Khob. Lam yazid. Lam yazid. It's from zada yazidu ziyad. Ziyad is to increase. Lam yazid. So it was yazido. Because of lam so there are some changes at the end. Lam yazid, he did not increase or he did not add. So it was fele mudare because of lam, it has gone to the past tense and became negative. Nasu, nasia, nasia, nasu, nasu is a past tense, siga number three. Nasia, nasia, nasu, they forgot. It's from Nisyan. Yes, Tawun. Yes, Tawun. They are equal. Okay, can anyone tell, tell me? What is the root word? Yes, Tawun. They are equal. Is it Sawa? Sawa, yeah. Asanti. So, Isteva in Arabic, Isteva means for something to be perfectly balanced in itself. Something which is balanced in itself is called isteva, or for something to have its forces in the right place or in the right proportion. Again, the same meaning. Now, the second meaning is here. So, first meaning something to be perfectly balanced in itself. This is one meaning. So, equal is there. The meaning of equality is there. This is the second meaning. And for it to have reached the peak of its development, a thing which it reaches. The peak of its development is called istiwa. And Allah has used this word for that. The Quran has described the word istiwa by saying, Balaga ashuddahu in chapter number 28, verse number 14. Likewise, istiwa istawa ala suqihi. The meaning is clear that for plants to stand upright on their stems, so they have reached the peak of their development. So istawa ala suqihi. So these are the two meanings you should remember for istawa. One, something to be perfectly balanced. Or you can say istawa ala suqihi. The meaning of balance is there in this meaning as well. Or for a thing to reach uh, to its uh, peak of its development, it's called istawa as well. Hope. Last one is ya'ase. It is actually ya'asi. He disobeys. Because of some, inshallah, you'll see in sentence. You will see it will become yaase. Oh, students have raised their hands. Sister Sakina Zainab, please come just forward. Say about, uh, yeah. uh, salam, yeah. salam, yeah. salam, salam, sister Sakina. Ah, salam, do again. Salam, you're not saying salam. Okay, Walikum Salam. Please go ahead. I, I wanted to say about yes, Tawuna. Mm -hmm. It's talking about. Can you say another word? Uh, Adi. About what? justice. Justice. 
No, no, no. Yes, the wound, they are equal. Uh, do, you, do you remember the dua, dua al Qumail? Imam yes. Ali al discusses the words. Okay, do you remember? What is the word? Okay, can anyone tell us? Hal Jastabun? Okay. Uh, Imam Ali alayhi salatu wasalam discusses, uh, it, it's from the Holy Quran that the believers and the disbelievers, are they uh, equal? No, yes, Tawun Imam Ali alayhi salatu wasalam says, no, they are not equal. A person who obeys Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and a person who disobeys, are they equal? Imam says, no, it's, it's a verse from the Holy Quran. They are not equal. Okay, let's go ahead, Sister Sakina. Come forward. Okay. Uh, mm he denies you will He leads astray. Yasi. He disobeys. B. Santi. B is the correct answer. Hope. Go ahead. Bari absolved Hosara mm -hmm. loss Zalal mm -hmm. state of being mis misled. Okay, okay. absolved uh, past tense, there is no need actually absolved, it should be absolved. Okay, Bari on. Oh, Go ahead. Asaw, Nasu, and Saw. Asaw, Nasu. Okay. They disobeyed. They disobeyed. And so mm. they forget. They forgot. And said, He made Nasu. them forget. Nasu, they, for, they forgot, not they forget. Uh, Nasu is a past tense. They forgot. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Uh, eh, eh. Okay, next one. Yakfuruna, yes, Tawuna, Fasiko. Yakfuru, they denied. They denied. It's a fele mother or fele madi. Now, wait, wait for a while. Yakfuruna is a fele madi or fele mudare. Fele. You're guessing, huh? Mm -hmm. How come it's Fili Muzare? Yeah, yeah, the yeah. It's Fili Muzare. Asanti. Durud Barshama. The Harfi Muzare is there at the beginning, you can see. Asanti Durud Barshama. Hope, go ahead. Uh, yeah. B. D. D. N. A. Y. K. F. U. R. U. N. A. Y. S. T. A. W. U. N. A. They are hmm. equal, classic, transgressor. Asante. Hmm. Last one from you. La takunu tawakkal lam yazid. Oh, no. You all do not be tawakkal. Hmm. You put your trust. Hmm. Lam yazid. You did not increase. Asante. Yeah. Asante. Jazakumullah khaira. Asante. Okay. Next one will be Brother Abbas Shabir Ismail. And after Abbas will be Sister Sakina Muhammad Ratansi. Please, Brother Abbas, come forward. Assalamu alaikum, Sheikh. Wa alaikum as wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Number one, he made them forget he disobeys. Um, a. Mm -hmm. And so. Okay, what will be Nasu? Uh, Anyone can help? Brother? They. They. What they? They, they, they forgot. Nasu. No, they Nasu. Them forget. It's, a, it's, it's a Siga number three of past tense. Now do the translation. Nasu is they forgot. Asau. Is the Sira number three? Now, what is the meaning of Asaw? Is the past tense Sira number three? Asaw. 
Therefore, so they disobey. Ah, so they disobeyed. It's a past tense, no? Yeah, disobeyed. Okay, so number two. He leads astray in the state of being misled. misled. This is B. This is B. He leads astray. Okay, what will the meaning of Dalla? Dalla, I forgot. Okay, anyone can help? What will the meaning of Dalla? Shall I try? Yeah, Walim Islam. Yes. Dalla, uh, he went astray. He went astray. Ahsanti. It's a past tense. Dalla is a sigha number one. He went astray. Yudhillu is, uh, he leads astray. Okay? Abbas? Okay. Oh, go ahead. He denies, they deny. Um, This is a bit <coughs> easy. Letter A, option A, option A. Yakfuru and Yakfuruna. Why uh, option B is not correct? What will the translation of Takfuru? It will be you... Deny. Ahsan, ahsan. Okay, number four. You put your trust and tawakkal absolve. Hmm? Um, that is I think so it's B. Tawakkal? So. Yeah. Okay, what is the Translation of bar. It is actually bar. Uh, anyone can come forward and can help Brother Abbas. Bar, there should be uh, tashdeed on ra, bar. It should not be bar, it should be bir. Should I, can I try? Yeah, yeah. Bir is good. Bir is good. And bir, and from this bir is abrar. Abrar in Farsi we say nikukaran, ne kam karne wale. Good people. It should be bir, not bar. Okay. Last one from your boss. You all do not be. He did not increase. This is option B. Okay. La takunu and lam jazid. Ahsan Jazakumullah Khaira. Thank you. Sister Sakina Muhammad Ratansi, you please come forward. Next one will be Salaam Sister Walikis Salam. Next one will be Sister Zainab. Khub. Sister Sakina. Mu'minan kaman kana fasika. That's A. Then is one who believe like one who transgress. Mm, that's what we were discussing. Afaman kana mu'minan kaman kana fasika. La yastawun. They are not equal. Ahsanti. Hope. It's A, and the people of Evangel must judge with that which was revealed by Allah in it. A, okay. Number third. Uh, number three is. It's B, and if people of the book believed, certainly there is goodness for them. Okay, you tell me, Sister Sakina, law is law is shartia. It's a conditional. Huh. Okay? In a conditional yeah. sentence, we have condition, then the uh, answer of that condition, okay? Yeah. So you can, the jawab of that condition. Okay, can you tell me where is the jawab of this condition? Um, so <clears throat> it's said in the first part that if the people of the book believe, and the second part says that certainly if they do believe, yeah. then certainly there's goodness for them. Yeah. So that's the answer. So, so uh, answer, uh, la jawab is shard is this. Yeah, oh, yeah. In Arabic, we say ajumlatu shartiya is this conditional sentence. Yeah. Jawab shard is this. Normally, you will see if a conditional sentence, okay, the particle for the conditional sentence is low, then for the jawab, you will see lam with fatha 
on the jawab yeah okay so this is the sign so this lam it is showing that this is the jawab of this law that if the people of the book had believed lakana khair lahum and it it was good for for them actually okay go ahead uh, next is number 4 yudhillu bihi kaseeran wa yahdi bihi kaseeran uh, it's a he leads many astray with it and he guides many with it mm-hmm. awesome from you wa lakad anzala wa lakad anzalna ilayka ayatin bayinat it's b and certainly will le- reveal to you clear signs ahsan ti jazakum allah khaira sister uh, zainab please come forward next will be sister ifat alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh like those who forgot allah alladhina nasullah eh alladhina nasullah of a is the correct answer that is because they were dhalika bi annahum that is they were okay dhalika from yeah. where from where we brought because from bi anna that is na because uh, because of ba yeah. this ba is called by sababiyat this ba is called by sababiyat sababiyat means reasoning so allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is explaining what is the reason zalika and that is because annahum that they were that is because that they were so anna if you put that so it will be the translation of anna that is because that they were go oh, ahead they themselves are transgressors mm-hmm. ulaika humul fasiqun bi ulaika humul fasiqun and one who disobeys allah wa man ya'sil lah wa man ya'sil lah okay and one who disobeys allah but the better transition will be and whoever disobeys allah because this man is min sharfiya conditional and whoever disobeys allah what is going to happen inshallah in the next phrase we'll see last one from you okay then certainly he is clearly astray fa qad zalla zalalan mubina eh then certainly he is clearly astray hum ahsan di jazakum allah khaira sister ifat please come forward next will be sister azra sharif assalam alaikum وعليكم <laughs> man humul mu'minuna min min humul mu'minun okay min humul mu'minuna wa aktharuhum fa aktharuhum fasiqun among them mm-hmm. uh, some are believers mm-hmm. and most of them are transgressors mm-hmm. this the, uh, some you brought the meaning of some from this men okay which type of men is it men min min okay can anyone help yes this min is called min tabidiya tabid ba'd okay so minhum yani so you can do the translation some of them ya yeah, among them among will have the same meaning so some of them are believers and most of them are transgressors so this min you can write below this min is called min tabidiya tabiz ta ba ain ya dad ya ha tabidiya so it's from ba'd hope you all please go ahead 
وَمَا يَكْفُرُوا بِهَا إِلَّا الْفَاسِكُونَ uh, And none denies it except the transgressors. Hmm. And no one disbelieves in them, yeah, denies them except the transgressors. Oh, number four, last one from you, فَأَنْسَاهُمْ أَنْفُسَهُمْ فَأَنْسَاهُمْ أَنْفُسَهُمْ Then he made them forget themselves. So, and uh, so far will be then. Then mm. he made them forget themselves. This ansa is having two objects. Do maf'ool rakta hai. First maf'ool is hum, and the second maf'ool is anfusahum. So he made them forget themselves. So this is maf'ool akbal. This is maf'ool object number one, object number two. So better will be them. Okay, Ahsanti, Jazakumullah Khaira. Sister Azra Sharif, you come forward. Next one will be Sister Kanis. Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa man ya'ti Allah wa rasoolahu and who and who disobeys Allah and his messenger and whoever disobeys Allah and his messenger. Ahsanti. فَقَدْ ظَلَّ ظَلَالًا مُبِيدًا Certainly, he is misled a clear misleading. Yeah, clear misleading. Then certainly he has strayed, a clear stray. Okay. فَقُلْ إِنِّي بَرِئٌ مِّمَّا تَعْمَلُونَ So say, certainly I am absolved from that تَعْمَلُونَ You all do. From that which or from what you do. Okay, because it is مَا It is actually مِن مَا So there is إِدْغَام here. It is مِن مَا From that which and from whatever you do. So I am absolved. I disassume. I'm disassociated from that which you do. So the meaning of bara'at will come to know here that you disassociate. For example, we are doing bara'at from mushrikeen. We are doing bara'at from the enemies of Ahlul Bayt, of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, enemies of Allah. So it means that we disassociate that whatever they did, we do not agree we are not happy what they have done. So it's not like this barat means to use uh, bad language against some personalities. No, barat means what they have done. I'm disassociating myself. If, for example, I'm saying that I'm doing barat from Yazid, but I'm doing the same thing. So this is not disassociation. I'm following the same path. So barat means the path which they have followed. I'm not following that path. So please go ahead. Rely upon the the most honorable, the merciful, and put your trust on the Almighty, the merciful. Do two more. Kanu yakfuruna bi ayatillah. Kanu yakfuruna bi ayatillah. Yakfurun. They dis. They dis. They dis. Believed in the signs of Allah. No. I don't know how to. Yeah. See, kana is na. Na. This kana with fail muzare. I told you it should be mazi istimrari. How will you phrase it? They used to disbelieve. Used to. You remember? If Kana comes with Fele Muzare, so Yakfurun, Fele Muzare has istimrar continuity, but it's for present and for future. And Kana is Fele Maldi. So the continuity will go to the past. So they used to reject or disbelieve in the signs of Allah. We should remember Kana with Fele Muzare. Last one. 
<clears throat> Nuh said, my Lord, certainly they, um, dis they disobeyed me. Yeah. No, said, oh my Lord, certainly they disobeyed me. Ahsan, this is our Khub, Sister Kaniz, you come forward. Next will be Sister Muhaddisa Dinani. Ya Allah, suit you. Yes, please, Sister Kaniz. We can't hear you. Okay, salam alaikum. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa rahmatullahi. Please go ahead, sister. Do not. I'm the one who is not able to hear your voice you or others are. It's, it's disconnecting. I don't know others are facing the same issue or not. Please go ahead. Sorry, I can't hear you. You disconnect yourself and join the class again. Okay, Sister Muhaddisa, can you please come forward? I'll give you a chance. Alaikum salam. Next will be Sister Mukarim Awalji. Okay, wala takunu kalladina nasullaha fa ansahum anfusahum. And you all do not be like those who um, Nasullaha. Who forgot? Forgot Allah. Then he made them. Who forgot Allah? Then he made them forget themselves. Themselves. So if someone forgets Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, so they will forget themselves. Now, what is the connection between forgetting Allah and forgetting themselves? Uh, now, if someone can explain, now you can say, or it will be an assignment to all of you. Bring the answer. That what is the connection? That if someone forgets Allah, they will forget themselves. What is the meaning of it? If someone can tell, can tell. Otherwise, it will be, it will be an assignment. Yes, please. Um, okay. What tabu malam yazibu maluhu wa waladuhu illa khasara and tabu actually forgotten. Ittaba'u is they followed. They okay, followed. And they followed someone who neither, uh, who neither, man lam yazid ma duhu, man lam yazid, neither increase their wealth nor their, their, their uh, except increase their loss, fasara, increase their loss. That is because there were those who disbelieved in the sign of Allah. Who rejected or do disbelieved the signs of Allah. And if they disobeyed you. So they disobeyed, then. Then if they disobey you, then certainly I am uh, in the bari um mimat ta'alamun. I am absolved. Maybe is absolved. Uh, certainly I am absolved from that which you do. وَمَنْ لَمْ يَحْكُمْ بِمَا أَنزَلَ اللَّهِ فَأُولَائِكَ هُمُ الْفَاسِحُونَ Okay, وَمَنْ لَمْ يَحْكُمْ And one who uh, Deny Nam Yahkum is to judge, and one judge. who does not judge, okay, one okay. who does not judge with that which Allah revealed, then they themselves are transgressors. Transgressors, okay. Last one, I think it is Allah made the Kaaba houses. Means of sacred. Uh, sacred house, means of uh, 
um, shelter for oh, the people. Qiyam is firmness for the people. Oh, okay, I, I'll come back to the side, inshallah, when we do the ahsan, jizakumullah khaira. Please, let's do the ayah faster, faster. Khub, Sister Mukarrama Walji, you come forward. Next one will be Sister Sayyida. Get ready, Sister Sayyida. Certainly, those who disbelieved in the signs of Allah for them is a severe punishment. With Kalatil Malaika to Ya Mariama in Nawahastafaki, and when said the angel Ya Mariam, certainly Allah has chosen you, was Faki Alan Nisail Alamin, and has chosen you over the women of the worlds. Good translation. So they shall remain in it um, forever. Mm -hmm. For them in it are pure mates, pure, pure companions, uh -huh. pure, pure spouses. spouse or mates in it. Home. Last one from you. Ja'al Allahu al-Ka'bat al-Bayt al-Haram qiyam al-Linnas. Ja'al Allahu. Allah has made the Kaaba, the house, the sacred house, qiyam al-Linnas for uprightness of people. The means of firmness. Oh. The means of firmness for people. Uh, now I have mentioned here in the bracket the means of firmness in, in, in what sense of their sustenance and hereafter. Can you please explain me what does it mean? That the firmness for the people, what does it mean? Uh, firmness in that, sense of sustenance. Stay, How is it? That they stay on the straight and narrow. Mm -hmm. So this is not only the Dastarkhan, it no, is. Uh, no, no, in, in terms of materialistic benefit, that the Kaabatullah is a place for the, is, is a means of firmness in, uh, in a way, actually, their sustenance will increase. The firmness will be there in their sustenance. How is it? When people will go to Baytul Haram, so they will stay there. They will spend money. So their risk will increase. The sustenance will increase. The tourists will come. So the firmness of the sustenance. Do you know how much is the income of Saudi Arabia just because of Hajj and Umrah? It's six, no. six billion dollars a year. Six billion dollars. So it's a huge chunk of money. Hope. So this is one thing that the sustenance will increase so the firmness will be in the sustenance and number two will be the hereafter your iman will increase when you go for the hajj your iman will increase so for the hereafter there is a firmness so these are the two benefits allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has kept allah this baytul haram is qiyam al khaira. so who was supposed to be next sister sayyida after Sister Sayyida will be Sister Shainaz Karmadi. Yes, please come forward. Catch with me. Okay. Sister Shainaz Karmadi, you can come forward. Assalamu alaikum. Sister, sister Shainaz Karmali, sorry. Yes. After Sister Shainaz Karmali will be Sister Zahra Bandali. Yes. Wajala lakum min juludil an ami buyuta. And he made for, uh, for you all uh, with the cattle skins uh, houses. Mm -hmm. 
and he made for you from the skins of cattle houses. Okay, do you uh, prepare your houses with the skins of cattle? No. <laughs> before, before they used to do the tents, when they used to make the tents, it was out of the skin of the cattle. Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay, sorry. Now the sequence is وَقَالَ رَجْلٌ مِنْ وَقَالَ رَجْلٌ مُؤْمِنٌ مِنْ آلِ فِرْعَونَ And a believing man from the people of Fir'aun said, Okay, who was this, was this Mu'min Ali Fir'aun? What was the name? Hizqil. Uh, Hizqil, huh? okay. Mm -hmm. oh, go ahead. Yuzillu bihi kathira wa yahdi bihi kathira. He made a stray uh, uh, most of uh, of them with it, and he he guide uh, many of them uh, with it. Oh, you will do be kathira, or you have to be kathira. He leaves many astray with it, and he guides many with it. Oh, my, you will be here, Hazra. Uh, and he does not lead astray uh, anyone with it except the transfer. Last one from you. And certainly, uh, we, uh, we uh, we revealed uh, uh, towards you uh, the clear uh, signs. Uh, and, mm -hmm. and they uh, uh, they they did they didn't uh, uh, disbelieve uh, uh, with uh, it uh, except the transgressors? So, see, walaqad anzalna, and certainly we sent down ilayka towards you ayatim bayinat, uh, clear evidences, clear signs, hope, uh, which are clear evidences. It should be clear, uh, clear signs. Okay. And no one disbelieve in them. So let me change it. Clear. It should be clear signs. Better. Sister, please, Sister Bandali, Sister Zahra Bandali, if you want to participate, because after a long time I can see you in the class, you want to participate? Hello, Sister Zara Bandali. I think she's not there. Sister Zainab, can you please come forward? After Sister Zainab, I'll give chance to Sister Azra Sharif. Yes, please. Hello. Mm -hmm. Okay. And if people of the book believe, certainly is a goodness for them. Man humul minuna wa akaruhum mulfasikun. Among them, the believers and most of them are transgressors mm that is you know, because they were those who rejected the signs they used to reject Allah. Yes, that is because that they used to reject or they used to disbelieve in the signs of Allah. And killed the prophets. No, 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 no. is vav is vav atifa. It's a copy paste. Yaktuluna will be pasted on yakfuruna. Kanu will come before yaktuluna as well. So, how did you do the translation? They used to disbelieve. 
So they yeah. used to kill. Okay. Okay. So they used the to kill the prophets unjustly. unjustly. So that is because they used to disbelieve in the signs of Allah and they used to kill the prophets unjustly. Okay. So the six is already there. Hope, sister Azura Sharif, please come forward. And and they and they judge the people of the and, and, of now the, and the people of Injil must judge or should judge with with uh, with, with what has uh, Allah has sent down in it. Mm -hmm. And uh, and whoever does not judge with what Allah has revealed. So on those, in those, they are the transgressors. Asante. So then those, yeah, they themselves are the transgressors. Uh, they themselves is not this. And then I should do those themselves are the transgressors. Okay. Hope it's already the transgressors. So if they disobey, فقل, then say in nibari amalun. Certainly I'm absolved or disassociated from you from that which you do. And put your trust on the Almighty, the all merciful. Asanti. Do the translation of verse number seven. The sister Ifat will be the next one. Okay, get ready, sister Ifat. Okay. So um, it's, it's, it's a question like, is, yeah. is the one who is a believer like the one who is a transgressor? Mm -hmm. They are not equal. Mm -hmm. But those who believe and who, who did the righteous deeds, so for them is, a, is an everlasting garden. So then is one who is Believe, who, is this, who is a believer like one who is a transgressor so they are alike they are not equal as for those who dis, as for those who believed and did the righteous deeds then for them uh, there are gardens of abode sister Ifat come forward huh, sorry wait for a while sister Ifat uh, you yes. do the translation of uh, verse number eight. Then Sister Masuma is there. I will give her ninth and tenth. Hope. Okay. Woman, yes, Allaha wa Rasulahu fakad zalla zalalam mubin. And one who disobeys Allah and His Prophet, then certainly he's clearly astray. A prophet, not messenger. Rasul is messenger. messenger. And who and whoever disobeys Allah and his messenger, then certainly he has strayed a clear astray. Hope. Thank you. Oh, tenth is already there. Ah, what I've done. Hope. Sister Masuma, do only one. Tenth is already. The sequence has gone wrong today. <laughs> And do not be like and not be like those who have who forgot Allah, then Allah may, made them forget themselves. Those they are the transcripts. Those, those they themselves are those themselves or those they are the transgressors. I told you before in the class that if you see the transition of Kuli Karai, he does a translation, it is them who are the transgressors. So because of the Zamir Fasl, so sometimes they do the transition like this. So Qala Nuhun Snu said, Rabbi, O my Lord, in Nahum Asauni, they certainly, they have disobeyed me. Wattaba'u, and they followed man, the one, okay, or him, lam yazid humaluhu awaladah waladuh. That they followed him whose wealth and children increased nothing. Illa khasara. Nothing for him except 
loss. Oh, Ahsan, Jazakumullah, Khaira, thank you for your time. Oh,